you. I'm going to tie a hackle wing spinner. Go ahead, catch a thread on the hook. Bring the thread to the back and create a little thread bump. It's just going to make it easier for splitting your micro filibits, keeping them separated. Go ahead and grab two or three micro filibits and you're going to tie these in on each side. Don't be afraid to uh, keep your tails long on your spinners, longer than you would like a dun. Uh, spinners have really long tails, so. And your two or three more. I'm gonna capture those on the hook. Spinners, um, some people have a hard time timing spinners and you'll see them up in the sky and they won't fall. And, you know, sometimes you wonder if, you know, they ever really happen, especially like early season, the Hendrickson's and stuff. It's just, it's kind of tricky and it's, uh, looks like it's going to happen and it doesn't happen. I'm sure we've all been there, but when you do get a really good fall, um, you get some really high quality, larger fish coming up to the surface. It's just a free meal. Bugs aren't going to fly away. So, you know, and you can take this same fly and you could apply it to, you know, many different species of, of mayflies. Um, when, once I get down to, you know, some smaller flies, I won't necessarily do hackle wing. I'll use like a lot of trigger point and stuff like that. But for my larger spinners, um, I definitely always have some, some hackle wings on me. So here I just dubbed like a, a rusty brown abdomen here, body. And right now I'm picking out two, uh, two hackles that are the right size. I'm going to go ahead and catch those on, tie them in. You can see I'm using grizzly hackle here. And I'm just using the rotary to... Uh, get a good spin on these you can see I didn't throw it in the cradle didn't really need to I'm gonna clip the excess up front here I put a little more dubbing up front so I tie my uh, hackle wing spinners a few different ways this is just one way um, I'll also do hacker stack, uh, hackle stacker spinners. Um, sometimes I'll even pull foam over the top. I'll also tie like a high vis post on them for low light conditions, real low light conditions. So right here, I'm just trimming the tops and bottoms. So you get that flush wing. That's pretty much it. Once you get these down, you know, you can start trying um, kind of like crippled spinners and stuff that's a little bit more of a curveball, but it's a good place to start.